she pop pee pop pee pop pee pop keep pass a sock pass say what they do welcome to crime time news where the difference is in the med scarlet news with a buzz this one is called is this a family of k i l l e r s or is it a fact that out of five brothers and five sisters five of the brothers g u n m e n one of the sister gone girl however the other four family member immediate family member they are good law abiding tax paying citizen the family is a family that is big a family of 50 so therefore if 6 out of those 50 family members are bad is it a fact that 6 bad apples spoil the whole damn bunch I am speaking about a notorious G-U-N-M-A-N that lost his life a couple of days ago. His name is Ichipang, known to the family as Dino Arbino Kayla. He also has a cousin you might have heard about him. His name is Keran Kadola Dola Angus. He was taken out in a some sorts of S-H-O-O-T out with the popo maybe about March or so, seven months or so, in 2023. About a year and a half before that, two years to this date, a next family member, gunman again, immediate family, his name is Prince. He was also taken out in a hail of bullets. Fast forward, less than 48 to 72 hours ago, Ichipang, so people that are three out of the six that I told you about, the other three are presently in their roles as G-U-N-M-E-N. Now people, this is his picture right here. The picture that you see, two pictures. This is a picture that is probably two years ago. And then this is a picture of a couple of years ago or so. When Ichipang lost his life, they took him out in a some sorts of B-U-L-L-E-T-S. He had on more weight. He was not as slim. He was kind of chubby. He kind of have some sorts of big belly. Now based on the information and this information, it is as if it is coming from a fly on the wall. It is as if Mr. Ichipang told me himself. Credible source, however, like them say, D-E-A-D -E man tells no sorts of tale. However, persons that are close to him contacted me and tell me this is the detail, intricate details of exactly what took place. A lot of stuff that is on social media, I am not going to say that this is damage control they want me to do, but they are saying that a lot of stuff that is on social media is not a hundred percent some truth some half truth some bs based on the information it is said that him and an aunt had some sort of verbal altercation this aunt kind of like send him up on their mother tell him some sort of suck this suck that s-u-c-k-p-u-s-s-y -S -S and people the last thing that you want to do with any sorts of bad man is telling him to go under a mother or tell him say him s-u-c-k him eat on the table it is said that ichipang then clatter one cross her face that means uh, him box box her up she then went went to her boyfriend and told this boyfriend this boyfriend then confronted ichipang and tell him say you don't know say me go k i l l u it is said that when this man made that threat, he did not take it very serious. Because within for himself, he must say, then hold on a minute. Uh, this man might kind of bad, but I am sure that him know my reputation and me know the reputation. So therefore, I am not going to take him serious. The man told him in no uncertain words that, listen, me I go take you away, but he never take heed. However, he would learn the hard way. That person, it is said, 
is possible a person of interest that might have had reason and fulfill the threat that he made. That is what is being circulated on social media. So based on the information that is circulating out there is that he was caught slipping, he was caught without any sorts of tool. And that is why he lost his life. Friendly F-I-R-E, them call it, or some other family friend took him out. It is said that he left where he was at, his comfort zone, and he was walking over to a next family member. It is said that that is when he was approached and the people them blaze him up and take away themselves. There's also a next motive that is circulating all over the place. It is said that Willie Haggard, notorious Willie Haggard, that lost his life from the Black Roses crew. He has two sons. One of them speckle, one of them is called Reddy. I think that they are twins, don't quote me. The rumors are the next motive that is out there is saying that Reddy, some people beat, beat him up, some people discipline him, some people diss him. The people in the place I say, a Ichipang send the people him to give him that royal B-E-A-T down. So therefore, that could be a next motive. Along with all sorts of rumors that are circulating out there, there was also a rumor that the Dan from Anatown, Danville Palmer, that got conned up in an orange villa, his girlfriend lost her life. He was, or the reason why he also lost his life, is as a reprisal for that. I even mentioned that based on information that I got before this that that was a possible motive. However, the source that I have, like me say, a fly upon the wall, somebody that is close to everything told me that, listen, this youth, Danville Palmer, his girlfriend, they are PNP. Mr. Ichipang is also PNP. They are more friends than enemy. So whatever you've been hearing, people just attack BS. My disclaimer, I am not trying to diss any sorts of blogger because sometimes we get information and these people talk as if they know exactly what they are talking about. However, if and when I make any sorts of mistake, the next thing that I am going to do is tell the other sides of the story. Like them say, there is always three sides to the story, his side, her side, and the truth. So this is possibly damage control and telling the truth that is out there. A next rumor that is circulating out there is that him and George Pang, a family member, that is also rumor. As a matter of fact, based on my source, it is said that him and George Pang no good anymore. It is said that him blaze up some can after George Pang. So people, you realize that this youth is as bad as it gets. Because whenever you will challenge anybody that is considered a OG, meaning original gangster, that means uh, you feel yourself or you don't have any sorts of respect for nobody, none at all, the living, the D-E-A-D, or even the Dan, or even the common man. Now, a next rumor that is also out there that he is from Havana Town or Anatown. The truth and the fact is that he is actually from Jungle. His mother is from Jungle. His mother's name is Brenda. She was living in jungle when she had him. He is from jungle. Brenda presently lives overseas. I know that she must be kind of pissed off right now that her son is D-E-A-D. -E However, based on information, everybody know that he was living by the G-U-N. She knew that he was not any sorts of sin. She knew that he was not any sorts of altar boy. And it would have been sooner or later before he met his demise. A next rumor that is circulating out there is that he was living in England. That is also not true. Based on my source, he was living in the United States 
when he was in the United States because of his anger management problem, it seems as if him and some sorts of girlfriend was in some sorts of verbal dispute. That verbal dispute escalated and him clawed, clawed her up. When he was held by the authority, it is said that he was not deported. Not sure how much accurate that is. However, he voluntarily left. He took voluntary departure and he left and he came back to Jamaica. So people, just to recap the two motives. Him and an aunt, family member had some sorts of verbal altercation. She called him some sorts of S-U-C-K-P-U-S-S-Y, eager. He then clawed her up, boxed her up. She went and told the boyfriend, the boyfriend threatened him that he was going to take him away. Coincidentally, he lost his life. The next motive is that Willie Agard's son, not Spectacle, the one that is called Reddy. As I said, I think they are twins. The next motive is that Willie Agard's son that has some sorts of car wash and some sorts of bar right on the main road in front of the Tony Spalling football field. It is said that one of the sons of Willie Agard was acting up too hype, acting as if he was too bad. Some sorts of verbal altercation, some sorts of word are true, whether upon WhatsApp, I'm not really sure where the source was. It is said that a couple of days or a couple of hours later, some people page Willie Agard's son ready and them box box him up and then them left. This was some sorts of reprisal or some sorts of payback. An ex misinformation that is out there is that Kadola and also Ichipang were friends. That is not factual. The fact is that one of them, they are sons of brothers and sisters. So therefore, that would make them cousins. So therefore, one B-L-O-O-D relative lost their life about two years ago. His name is Prince. An ex-relative, close family member lost his life in March. That would be seven months ago. That person's name is Kadola Dola, Mr. Angus. Based on the information, it is said that Hachipang lost his life. He was out of his comfort zone. Had he been where he is comfortable, there's a place that is called Backwall. That is right there. He would have been protected. However, him stray and the people from oversight or wherever that put out the hits. They caught him slipping. Easily, them just jump over that place that is called Backwall. Not Backwall as some people have it. It is called Backwall. So the moral of the story is this. This youth, Ichipang, he was born in the badness. The family lineage. The family is from back in the 80s, bad man style, from the days of Natikunda. His father's name is Dildil. His father lost his life maybe about 34 years ago from back in the 80s. Another wrong information that is out there is that Kadola was the hitman for Ichipang, people that is furthest from the truth. Based on my source, Mr. Kadola is a saint compared to Ichipang. So therefore Kadola bad because of Ichipang. Because him of Ichipang vocative. So based on the information from my source and the misconception. This is a big family of about 50 people from the grandfather, grandmother. The immediate younger generation call it say them have five boys. Out of the five boys, all five of them bad. There are five girls. Out of those five girls, one of them is also a gun, G-I-R-L. So therefore, of the latest ten, at least six are affiliated in some sort, in a some sort of gunman, gunwoman-ish. So therefore, that is six out of fifty. 
Like me say, one bad apple spoils the whole D-A-M-N bunch. People do not care if you're out there and living a wholesome life. It is the family members that are out there with the bad reputation that everybody is going to remember. And as unfortunate and unfair as that is, it is the cold fact. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.